Hello, this is Dr. Nelson. I'm here with Dr. Boss in San Diego, California. We're attending a conference where she just spoke about menopause. Menopause. Brains, women, and hormones. All right. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to ask her a couple of questions about reversing type 2 diabetes and can we do that or can we at least go and reverse the diagnostic criteria that we normally use for diabetes, which may be a little bit of a difference there, right? right. So can we reverse diabetes? Amen. You can reverse type 2 diabetes. You know, I was just talking to a gentleman who had the path for what we see over and over again in our aging patients, which is they started making insulin resistant problems when they're in their 20s and 30s and nobody noticed and nobody told them and now they're in their late 40s and they've got 70 pounds that need to go away. The 70 pounds come off and now he says, boy, my morning fasting sugars are still elevated. And had he not lost the 70 pounds using that ketogenic diet, lowering those carbohydrates, he would be type 2 diabetic. And now he's got somewhere in the middle. And I think that uh, is a great teaching point to say the progress to become type 2 diabetes happens quicker, faster, and man, it shoots the blood sugars right to the sky in most of the patients until they take ownership of the problem by the way they eat. So diet, probably the main thing that we need to address when we're trying to reverse type 2 diabetes, there are some medications that you could use, but diet is keying as far as the damage or the Disease. the healthy way you can yeah. you can eat. How long does it take though to become the type two diabetic? Yeah. So I, when he was telling me his story, I mean he's uh, he works out, he's got some military background, and he's been brewing that for 20 years and i think that is not an uncommon uh, setting where you got a couple decades where the churn of high insulin has kept your sugars low enough that you don't see the problem but now the scales are tipping and that insulin just is as, as loud as it screams it's not keeping those blood sugars controlled and this is where the disease happens this is where those brains age and those autoimmune problems show up and boy, if you want to take quality of life from his life, uh, you know, the, the diabetes isn't, you know, okay, he has to check his sugars or give some insulin, but that's nothing compared to what will happen to his brain, his immune system, and his ability to do life. So sometimes as doctors, we may not have too much time in the office to tell a patient everything that mm -hmm. needs to be done. So top three advice, th three things that you would do when you have a patient and you only have 15 or 20 minutes. 15 minutes. So you know what? I think the most important part when I'm doing that conversation is to look at their motivation. Because I mean, you and I have both been to the place where you're the broken record saying the things like you should do diet and exercise to lower your blood sugar. And you just kind of bong your head up against the wall because they're not ready for it. I mean, when I see a patient who's motivated, motivated to, to change the trajectory, and I say, you need zero carbohydrates in your life. You need to cut the carbs completely to zero and come back in one week. And you know, one of the ways that I've done that is uh, looking at that motivation. What, what would it take to get you off of these medications? How, how badly do you want to not be this patient who's gonna be dependent on me for the next, until, from now until the time you die? And if I can see them capture, like, you mean there's a chance I can undo it? I mean, to me, that's the patient where I lean in and I'll give them a one week assignment. Um, my favorite assignment actually is just do sardines for a week. <laughs> now, in the spirit of time, it's because the menu is easy to explain. Mm -hmm. It's hard for them to mess up and there's no carbs in that sardine, that can of sardines. So it's really a great challenge of you're going to struggle with this. I want you to get through. It's just a week. I want to see what happens when you lower those carbohydrates and have this high fat, high protein menu for a week. It happens quick. Their follow up questions are it's capable. You're capable of answering them in that 15 minute time zone. And the next visit is what is miraculous that a, they've either had a come to Jesus where they are way more addicted to food than they thought they were, um, or they are surprised at how many things got better in one week of just saying, cut, cut the BS, 
do this for one week and watch what happens. What's the biggest resistance you get from the patients when you tell them to do that? Well, yeah, you, you definitely have to select the patient, right? Because if they're not motivated, you sound like the craziest person ever. Sardines, they can't, they smell bad. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I know. But uh, so the resistance is um, what it's going to do to other people. That's what, most of the time it is. Or, even if it's going to change their life, their health is going to be better. Their, their life impact is going to be higher. What they are, they use in front of me anyway, is my, my spouse is going to be upset. My kids are going to be, I have a birthday party. And the food and the and social engagement has such currency in their life that they aren't willing to sacrifice that for their health. And to me, that's the biggest trade-off that you're in the middle of saying, here's what I'm going to propose to you. If you can't start tomorrow, then start in one week. But I want to see you on the seventh day of sardines only. And I usually try to navigate and negotiate that in a way. If they're, if they're looking at feedback on a CGM or glucose, you know, sticking their fingers, they're going to notice the it's difference. It's huge. I mean, it really is. I mean, when you do that, the fastest thing that they're surprised by is the blood pressure. Like they're on four blood pressure meds. This is, you are going to be addicted to me until the day you die. Cause this, this is your, no doctor is going to let you out of there with that kind of blood pressure, but you cut the carbs, you decrease the inflammation and of course, lower the insulin. And the biggest step that's happening in that is I'm right. usually half the meds. So you do something peculiar in a grander scale, a couple of times a year. <laughs> so give us a minute of yeah. what you do. So best medicine I've done in 25 years is I lead a class for three weeks, twice a year. And in these two sets of three weeks, in these six weeks, I teach patients how to do a ketogenic diet that is therapeutic, meaning it is the kind of ketogenic diet I would do for a seizure patient or for a cancer patient. And they're doing it in community, uh, which means they show up, we do a little lecture, it's across Zoom that you hear me present this. And then they meet personally for one hour a day with their little support group of 10 people. And they learn not only what's happening to their bodies, but what's happening to everybody in their classroom. And you know, Dr. Nelson, I, I wish I would have thought of this earlier because it would take me over four years of seeing that patient one-on-one -on -one for them to learn and be proficient in the ketogenic diet the way they are at the end of those three weeks. And the best part of that class is they leave the class with their little support group. They get to keep meeting once a week instead of every day at that point. And they teach, they're just, they evangelize how much their health got better because they dialed in for three weeks. And I, I, I know this is what I was called to do. Teach this diet really well twice a year and then watch people's lives get healthy. Thank you, Dr. Buss, for all the information. As doctors, the doctor word actually comes from teachers. Amen. And this is one of the things you do very well, teach uh, people to do the low carb ketogenic diet and you have the, the program two times a, a year. Where can people go on? BozMD.com is our website, but you can find me on YouTube. And, um, you know, I have good friends like you saying, you know, good things about me. So ask any of the folks in the ketogenic space. Uh, hopefully they've got good things to say and we'll see you in the classroom. All right. Thank you very much. Bye from San Diego.